in your experience, when it happened to you that you came across to unexpressed voice of a poor man or a poor woman or a poor community, that you heard that voice, you understood it, but you find difficult or maybe impossible to convey that voice up to the decision makers of the big strategies or the big implementation plan. Can you make an example, a case that helps me to understand it? Okay, I'll give you a personal example. 20, more than 20 years back, I was working at the grassroots in uh, the state of Uttar Pradesh, India. And working with a community of the most marginal, marginalized sections of the society. And Wor working with whom? Uh, with the leather workers at the bottom of the economic and social ladder. And we were trying to uh, strengthen their livelihoods and the means that were being adopted were cooperatives and uh, community-based organizations. It was a difficult, violent uh, interface between the group that we were working with and the rest of the society because these people were trying to ch uh, change the existing social and political structures. And of course it was being met with violence. So it was a violence-packed thing social change uh, that we were pushing for under the garb of an economic development uh, what sort of violence beatings i was i mean uh, i was once traveling uh, on motorcycle with a local leader on my pillion on the motorcycle and this was broad daylight some hundred uh, yards from that leader's house we were stopped accosted i mean one must say and then uh, we were attacked with guns and knives and all that the uh, local community leader who was riding pillion was cornered and he was killed in that attack i was left for dead but i've been through that kind of violence so when he i was killed he was killed he died i was left for dead this thought that well he has two big ga gashes in his head so he will die so, okay let's carry on <laughs> what so, is a gash this uh, big yeah. where the uh, wound opens up and blood is oozing out big one it's a gash with a knife no with the butt of a rifle the wooden part of it so they just held the barrel and hit from the other that side so anyway that is not the point of the story the point is that this kind of violence was happening i mean in the pro process of social change there were uh, people were being beaten up people were being killed i mean uh, we as project holders weren't i mean I it was the first time that i was attacked but otherwise we were quite safe but the local community that we were working with that was at the forefront of the violence so it was a testy process I mean, some you go forward, you get hit, and then you retreat, and then somebody else takes a few more tentative steps, goes forward, gets hit, then comes back. And I mean, the process is going on all the time. So, uh, my point is that uh, we were trying to push for all these kind of economic and social changes, and then s somewhere uh, after I, the, after the project had been in operation for about. Uh, eight or nine years I don't exactly remember and I had moved on from the project the project closed down because of the funding ran out and also uh, the project management just couldn't uh, intellectually we couldn't take it forward what to do so even that is not the point of the story but recently some uh, 15 years after uh, <coughs> I had left I returned to that place not because of anything else, but when I was attacked and left for dead, there was a criminal court case out in the court and I had to give evidence as one of the prime witnesses. So they could trace, uh, the thing came in about 12, 15 years time, my chance to give uh, my testimony. So I went back and I was uh, unpleasantly surprised to see that the life of the average leather worker, those who were not leaders, hadn't changed much. I mean, my uh, fifth, within the 15 years, with the way I had grown intellectually, I had said that, well, our projects failed. That often happens because such a lot of high quality input, 
you move them out and the project finally kind of there's not much not much of an impact like three direct impact like three uh, left three years down the line but what i'd always believed was that the individuals that whom we impact with our high energy and our ideas and all those kinds of things they move on to other things in life and their life is better and i was very sadly uh, woken up from this self made dream of mine that no the poorest their lives haven't changed really in spite of our efforts over 8 9 years and that is when i kind of subconsciously somewhere said that we hadn't heard their story and that is why we could not communicate with them so 15 years down the line they are still there had we engaged in a story and this can uh, for me it came through reflection never through a direct encounter that well 15 years down the line if things haven't really changed is because you haven't been able to listen to them listen to them what is what is the want to tell you that you can listen i'm still not aware but i am at least <coughs> of the exact message what they wanted to tell me but i'm aware that they wanted to tell me something i didn't listen to it or we as the project people who were trying to listen and to interpret it and to devise programs and strategies etc etc we weren't able to hear it and hence we were not able to incorporate it in our plans and so whatever effort we did it was inadequate so so there is something that we just couldn't hear and now that it's about 20 years back things have changed all around but that is something i i still can't put my finger on as to what they were trying to say but they were cl- clearly trying to say something additional that look i mean this my they must have been trying to say like that look this kind of effort is inadequate or whatever or some other things are also needed and because we we didn't hear it well, maybe you are trying to hear but you are, they were unable to articulate, articulate it, yes. and you were unable to interpret this unarticulated sound yes that is true so maybe actually is one of the factors determining the success of uh, I men one of the factors determining the possibility of growing is the capacity of the community to articulate clearly their sense of purpose hmm. is uh, i mean how can a community develop if that community is not able to project clearly with one voice their aspirations and their quest for justice hmm. how can you listen to a community which is unable to articulate clearly their uh, request their of uh, be hard mm that is the thing i mean you you thank you for pushing me there i now get what i am trying to maybe say i think that is the most determinant factor of development i agree the community is able to come up with clear position with clear one voice about what do they stand for And unless the community does that necessarily it falls victim of some exploiter actually even i would say needs an exploiter to survive it's only when you come up with one voice with one dignity with one stand with a, with a cultural entity that you can raise up and then you at that point the exploiter is not needed interesting what i'm trying to say is that whenever as a development professional i've gone and try to listen to their voices the grammar of that language has been imposed by me i've never bothered to give space for their grammar i mean space and time and because managerially a project has to be run in certain time so there is and look the underprivileged the th- uh, the set of people who need our assistance or i mean this is uh, see, uh, seeking assistance in an is an act of indignity itself i mean most people wouldn't like to be seen as seekers but uh, it is very clear that they are behind because they are unable to articulate themselves in the mainstream media i mean in the mainstream language let me put it this way and that is why they are behind they've not been able to jump onto the mainstream and that is why they've left behind so clearly they they have 
they have their problems of communication of understanding what the mainstream is and then devising ways of how to get onto it if they had been able to do it we would not need it right. so uh, the point is that i totally agree that the community itself has to uh, articulate its desires but we should also somehow i don't know how because project management also has to be catered to is that there should be enough space for that community to also talk about what it thinks about a certain thing i mean there are a lot of participatory approaches and all that but in spite of that they're quite the outer frames is very settled and somewhere we should be coming up with those things the political process in india actually is helping articulate that far better Mm-hmm. the they are able to articulate their preferences because uh, through the political process far better than through the developmental efforts the developmental efforts are narrow focused limited set of objectives whereas the broader issues are several 